Welcome to another Spreadsheeters video guide. You can find written instructions for these steps on the Spreadsheeters website. In this video, we'll see how to select a random sample in Excel. Excel can be used to select a random sample from a set of data. Random sampling is a technique used often in statistical analysis. In this example, I have a list of 200 students. I would like to find out their feedback for a particular class that they all attend. It is not feasible to interview all 200 students, so I think that a sample of 30 students will give me the kind of information I'm looking for. Now the next problem is how to select these 30 students because I want them selected at random. In this uh, data set, the names are arranged in alphabetical order. I don't want to just pick the first 30. I don't think that would be random enough. So using Excel, there are two ways of doing this. The first is to use the data analysis tool. So under the data menu, there is a data analysis tool. This comes as, a, as an add-in in Excel. So if this does not display, you need to go to File, Options, select Add-ins, under Manage Excel Add-in, say Go, and tick Analysis Toolpad. This is already there, so I don't need to enable it again. Now I want to use the tool, so I click Data Analysis. Under this, I will select Sampling and say OK. So now first is I need to give the input range. Now this tool takes only numeric values. I cannot enter the range that contains the names. Since I have a serial number column, I will select that. Control shift down to select all the values. Then uh, under random number of samples, I want 30. I want to specify the output range. So I'll click it here. I don't want it on a new worksheet. Uh, sorry, minimize this go to the top and I want to uh, the output range to come in this cell, cell D2. So I will select cell D2 and then say OK. Now I can see that Excel has generated a random list of 30 numbers. If I look at the bottom, I can see the count is 30. So now that I have the numbers, I need the names associated with this. So for this, I will use the VLOOKUP function. Now what VLOOKUP does, it will find the name associated with this number. So I select the number and then I have to tell Excel to look in uh, this range of values. So again, Control shift down, comma. Now I wanted to return the second column. I wanted to return the name, which is column number 2. So I put 2 there and then false because I want an exact match and say enter. So it has found me the first name. Before I copy this down, of course, I have to make the range constant. Uh, so select the cell reference, press F4 for the start and end of the range. Now I can just copy this down to the uh, end, end of the samples and say enter. So now I can see that uh, Excel has picked up using the lookup function. It has picked up each one of the names associated with these numbers. Let's do a rough check. Uh, number 8, Andrea. Yes, number 8 is Andrea. So now I have my list of uh, 30 samples and I can use uh, this list to interview the students. Now let's look at the second method. Uh, let me delete this. For this, uh, the second way is to use the RAND function of Excel. Now what RAND does is it inserts a random number. So I want to insert random numbers with this entire uh, data set. So I copy this down to the rest of the rows and you can see random numbers have been inserted throughout. Now what I will do is I will now sort this. I will sort this uh, data according to these random numbers. So I've selected the two columns on the data menu select sort. Now I want to sort by column C. I don't want to sort by name. I want to uh, sort by column C which contains the random numbers and I'll say OK. Now you can see that the data has got all uh, nicely mixed up and since I didn't sort the serial number column, I can now just select the first 30 from 1 to 30. I can take this as my list of random samples. This is how to select a random sample in Excel. Please read the appended article for further guidance.